hello everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so today we are going to study with the topic heron's formula of class 9 so before starting my video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new video so here for the introduction of this chapter the topic name is as Heron's formula. So Heron is a scientist name and you need to study the formula which he has given you. So basically we all know the area of triangle is half into base into height. Okay. Half into base into height. Heron is a mathematician who has given some formula regarding your area of triangle. Okay. And that formula states area of triangle is equals to root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is nothing but called as perimeter semi perimeter okay semi perimeter in the sense uh, you know that circle and semicircle semicircle in the sense half of the circle so this is also perimeter and semi perimeter that is half of the perimeter is nothing but called as semi perimeter okay that is half of the perimeter of triangle so semi perimeter s is equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 so perimeter of the triangle is nothing but a plus b plus c and if it is divided by 2 means the perimeter is divided into half and it is known as semi perimeter now what is a b and c you know the triangle is having three sides okay so a is the measurement of one side b is the measurement of second side and c is the measurement of the third side okay you can assume any of the side first second and third you know already the triangle will be having three sides and you can assume um, any of the side as a any of the side as b and any of the side as c okay so depending on this let us quickly start with our exercise 8.1 okay so the first question which is given here is a traffic signal board okay this is a traffic signal board which is indicating school ahead is an equilateral triangle with side a so it is an equilateral triangle this board is an equilateral triangle with a side a so if this side is a you know that equally equilateral triangle means all the three sides will be equal so if it is a here all the other two sides will also be having a only find the area of the signal board using the heron's formula so up to this much question we are going to solve later on we'll come back to this question okay so basically there they have given if this is a triangle so let us assume that our a is a b is also a and c is also a means a is the side a b and c are three sides of the triangle both are having a centimeter this is also a centimeter and this is also a centimeter okay a is also centimeter b and c both all the three are in centimeters so according to heron's formula so we need s first okay because you know that according to the formula we need s so what is the formula for s that is here you can see that is a plus b plus c divided by 2 so what is our a a only what is our b it is also a plus what is our c it is also a and it is divided by 2 so it will become 3a by 2 now let us uh, write this into the formula okay so area of the triangle which is equal to area of triangle is equals to root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c okay so let us substitute the value root of s value we are having 3a by 2 let us substitute 3a by 2 into again 3a by 2 minus a value is a itself okay then s is 3a by 2 minus b value is also a again 3a by 2 again c value is also a okay so if we open this see here what we are going to get we'll keep this 3a by 2 as it is you can see here 3a by 2 is there if you cross multiply this you are going to get 3a minus 2 into a is 2a divided by 2 this 2 okay then the same thing here also and here also so what you are going to get is 3a minus 2a by 2 again here 3a minus 2a by 2 okay 
then the finally what you are going to get is 3a by 2 into 3a minus 2a is a by 2 okay again 3a minus a is 2a is a by 2 again here you are getting a by 2 okay next let me continue here itself okay this will become 3 a is how many times 1 2 3 4 times okay so this will become root of 3a to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so if you open this you know that root 3 will be as it is okay root this root will be as it is for this 3 if you are having root a to the power of 4 you can write this as a square into a square okay this 4 you can write it as a square into a square and this root okay so it will become a square of square a square how many times two times and this is root now this square and this root is cancelled so you are left with a square okay and root 16 can be written as 4 into 4 okay it will become 4 square root of 4 square now this square and this root is cancelled it is divided by 4 now you got area of the triangle to be as this much centimeter square okay now let us continue with the question if its perimeter is 180 centimeter what will be the area of signal board okay so they have given us the perimeter is 180 centimeter so we know that perimeter is equals to a plus b plus c so perimeter they have given us 180 which is equals to a is a only b we are having again a c we are having again a okay so we got 180 is equals to 3a so a is equals to 180 by 3 so what will be the value of a that is 60 centimeter okay we got a value to be as 60 centimeter so let us substitute in this only root 3 a square by 4 so root 3 will be as it is into a is 60 into 60 divided by 4 so this is 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 and 0 again 2 1 is a 2 2 3 is a 6 and 0 so 30 into 30 we got 900 and this root 3 will be as it is this is nothing but centimeter square so finally we will get the area of the signal board to be as 900 root 3 centimeter square okay okay now moving to the second question as you can see a triangular side wall of a flyover has been used for advertisement now this is this figure is showing a flyover and this is the triangular side wall of this fly over okay the sides of the wall are 122 meter 22 meter and 120 meter so 122 meter 120 meter and 22 meter they have already given the advertisement yields an earning of rupees 5000 per meter square per year so for this wall advertisement of this wall it is taking 5000 for 1 meter square okay per meter square they have given so for 1 meter square they are taking 5000 rupees for the complete year now if a company hire one of its wall for three months now the company needs this wall for only three months okay so how much rent does that company has to pay now this is the flyover which is having so and so measurements okay now for one meter square for the whole year and it is five thousand rupees now the company needs whole of this wall okay whole of this wall but for only three months now what we need to do is we need to calculate the total area of this wall first okay then we should multiply with this rupees and it must be divided by 12 so let me show you how it will be so let us first consider the measurements what they have given let us consider a is equals to 122 meter b is equals to 22 meter 
and C is equals to 120 meter as they have shown here 122, 22 and 120 meter. So let us find out according to the Heron's formula what is the area of this triangle first. Okay. So S we need to write. So because we need S first S is equals to A plus B plus C divided by 2 where A is 122 plus 22 plus 120 divided by 2 if we add all this we are going to get um, 264 divided by 2 now if you cancel this it will be 2 ones are 2 ones are 2 threes are 6 and 2 twos are 4 so we got 132 meter okay 132 meter as semi perimeter now let us uh, write the formula area of triangle is equals to root of okay so the formula is s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so let us write the s is nothing but how much we got we got it as 132 into s is again 132 minus a a is nothing but 122 into s again that is 132 minus it is b is 22 again 132 minus c is 120 okay next we'll keep this 132 as it is now we got 132 minus 122 is nothing but 10 into 132 minus 22 is again 110 again 132 minus 120 is nothing but 12 okay so 132 you can see here 132 into 10 is 1320 into 11 uh, sorry 12 into 110 so 12 into 110 so let us find out this 11 twos are 22 2 is carry 11 ones are 11 12 13 we got 132 and the 0 will keep as it is so i got both the same that is 1320 into 1320 so it will become 1320 square so this square and this root is cancelled so we are left with 1320 meter square as the word area okay now we got this area to be as like this now they have given us for 1 meter square just see here for 1 meter square it is 5000 rupees then for 1320 meter square what will be the amount so what we need to do is cross multiplication that is cost is equals to let us write 1320 into 5000 okay and we need it for how many days how many months we need it for 3 months and it will be divided by 12 why it is divided by 12 because they have told us that 5000 rupees will be for per year for 1 meter square for per year per year means 5000 per year this is year yearly contains 12 months okay because we are writing like this 5000 per month okay per month in the sense 5000 will be divided by 12 okay so this 5000 divided by 12 will be as it is and this 3 because now we need that side wall for 3 months so it will be multiplied by 3 now just see 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 okay now 4 ones are 4 4 threes are 12 1 will be carried again 4 threes are 12 and 0 so we are having 3 3 0 into 5000 okay so finally 5 threes are 15 5 and 1 carry 5 threes are 15 16 then how many zeros are remaining 1 2 3 4 so let us put 4 zeros now we got the amount to be as 16 lakh 50 thousand rupees the company has to pay 16 lakh 50 thousand rupees for uh, the advertisement of this side wall as its rent okay so let's move on to the third question okay so here you can see the next question which is given here there is a slide in a park okay now this is a slide which is placed into the park one of its wall has been painted in some color with a message 
keep the park green and clean now one of the uh, wall of that particular slide is been painted uh, with some color and a message uh, will be uh, present a message is present on to that particular wall that is keep the park clean and green and clean okay now if the sides of the wall are 15 meter 11 meter and 6 meter find the area painted in color now they have given the length breadth and whatever it is given okay all the measurements they have given so let us consider that measurements to be as a b and c we'll consider any side we can consider as a we'll consider a as 15 centimeter we'll consider b as uh, uh, 11 meter and then we can consider c as 6 meter okay now according to the formula we need s s is nothing but a plus b plus c and divided by 2 a is 15 plus 11 plus 6 which is divided by 2 again okay now 5 6 12 2 and 1 is carried 1 2 3 so we got 32 divided by 2 which is nothing but 16 meter so s we got as 16 meter so let us write the formula area of triangle is equals to root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so substitution 16 s is nothing but 16 then again 16 minus 15 again 16 minus 11 and again 16 minus 6 so we got we'll keep that 16 as it is 16 minus 15 is 1 16 minus 11 is 5 and 16 minus 6 is 10 okay so what we will do is 16 can be written as 4 into 4 okay then into 5 tens of 50 it will be okay 50 no 5 will keep as it is 10 we will open that is 2 5 10 okay now you can write this as 4 4 4 square you can write 5 5 you can write 5 square and we'll keep this 2 as it is now you can see this square this square and this root is being cancelled so 4 5 are 20 we got but this 2 is not having any square so it will be already in root itself now the answer is this much meter square 20 root 2 meter square so that's all for this video we'll continue the next part of this exercise into the next video so till then stay tuned and stay connected don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel